Today's the day, the sun is shining. Actually, no, it's not. It's, it's not because it's 4 a.m. The sun is not shining yet, but come the end of this video, it will be. <laughs> Today's the day, the sun is shining, the birds are singing, and I am about to dye my hair red. I'm going back to red, guys, that's it. That's, that's it, that's the end of the hair coloring adventures. I first bleached my hair in January 2020 when I was in Japan, and I dyed my hair pink. First time in my life I've had any other color other than my natural color of red, and it's been two whole years of every color I could possibly think of. Plenty of fun was had along the way and plenty of concern was expressed, but I am now ready to go back to the way that I was, just with much shorter hair. So my mother has been the biggest advocate for me to return to my natural red hair, uh, probably from the moment that <laughs> I went pink. The second that she saw me with pink hair, she was like, put it back. Put it back, go back to the way you were. And ever since then, for two years, she's been asking me to dye my hair back to red. So, mum, that's what I'm doing today. And I'm going to be dyeing my hair red using shades of red hair dye that my mum has picked out for me. Many months ago, my mum came to my house with a big shopping bag full of Swartzkopf Live in the shade Aztec Copper and Tangerine Twist. And mum said, Alex, um, when you decide to dye your hair back to red, um, please use these. And I said, why? And she said, because uh, I think that if you mix this and you mix this, it'll be the color that your hair was before you bleached it. And she said, please promise me, promise me that you'll use these when you go to dye your hair red again. Now, I, I was going to use Arctic Fox or, you know, some other trendy brand, but I have caused my mom enough pain and suffering over the past two years watching me torment her and myself with everything that I've done to my hair. So I thought, no, no, I may as well do, do something nice for her and dye my hair using the colors that she chose for me. So with that, mum wants me to take this Swartzkopf Live Aztec Copper and mix it in equal parts with Swartzkopf Ultra Brights Live Tangerine Twist. Hopefully two packets will be enough to cover my whole head. And if you are confused as to why my hair looks the way that it does right now, I look like Gilderoy Lockhart with a bowl cut, it's because I just used the product Color Oops to remove the black blue from my hair and reset it back to this. So with that, let's mix these up. Interesting difference in the textures between the two. That is really kind of concerning. All right, so um, aside from the fact that it looks absolutely delicious, uh, it looks kind of thick. And I'm considering maybe mixing in just a tiny little bit of conditioner just to let it go a little bit further. Is that a good idea? Uh, too late if you're leaving a comment saying no, it's a terrible idea because I've already done it. Um, this is a conditioner that I'm literally obsessed with. This is the Sol de Janeiro hair. It's so difficult to know the name of these products because they put a bajillion words all over the packaging, but essentially it's like a hair treatment and I love it. It's done incredible things to my hair. I've been trying Olaplex for like over a month now. And this, I feel like this is better than Olaplex. I know, I know, please don't come for me, but I do love it. And it smells absolutely incredible. I'm just, I'm gonna take a little bit of it and I'm gonna just put it in there, probably just like a spoon, maybe just a spoon of it. And hopefully that'll thin this out just enough to help me spread it through my hair. All right, so the instructions say that you have to apply the hair dye to towel dried hair. So I'm gonna give it a quick wash. I'll use a little bit of clarifying shampoo just to make sure that there's no residual product of any sort on it. And then I'll start dyeing slowly.
All right, this is it. It's happening. I can't believe it's actually happened. Okay. I'm ready. As you uh, know, if you're a regular viewer of mine, there's no technique involved in anything that I do. Uh, so if you are new here and you're watching on in horror because I'm not dividing my hair, this is just how we do things around here. Oh God, I look like Pauline Hanson. Oh, I don't like it. <sighs> now we wait. I'm gonna wait 30 minutes. <laughs> All right, it's time. I haven't looked yet, I haven't peeked. Let's see what's under here. Oh my God. <gasps> <clears throat> Before the big reveal, let's take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes available to help people explore new interests and get lost in creativity. Now, you all know I'm a self-proclaimed hair expert, but I'm always willing to take a few tips from the pros. So the ultimate self-care playbook hosted by none other than American hairdresser and TV star Jonathan Van Ness is my personal pick. JVN Skillshare class shares plenty of simple and practical ways to implement self-care in your day-to-day -to, -day to find out what works best for you. One tip they shared that I thought was really handy was to schedule in self-care into your week, just like you do with all your other life priorities. And even if you don't get to everything on your list, that's A-OK. -okay. Self-care is a process, so these tips are definitely something I'll be keeping in mind for 2022. So no matter what inspires you or what you're looking to learn, Skillshare can help you discover your potential. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. And with that, thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring and uh, let's get on with the reveal. to my natural hair color. My natural hair color is not so orange. Uh, it was very, very orange when I was a kid. And then uh, as I've grown older, it's it's sort of leaning more towards a brownie kind of red. So obviously it, uh, it doesn't look natural at the moment, which means I'm going to need to tweak the formula or tweak the recipe a little bit. So if you guys have any recommendations about red hair dye products that you know of that could possibly give me something like this, which is what my hair looked like on uh, my wedding day, which as my husband says is his favorite shade of my hair my natural hair color. Uh, and he has also informed me that second to that, his favorite shade is pink. So with that being said, there may or may not have been some lies told when I said that I was done with my hair dyeing adventures because there is something so appealing about a pastel pink bob. But you know what? We'll, we'll get to that when my hair grows to it because I'm, I'm far from a bob at the moment. It's a, uh, it's not a pixie cut, it's not a bixie cut, it's... I, I don't know what to call this length, but you know what? I'll enjoy it while I have it. So with that, thank you guys so much for joining me on today's adventure. I'm happy enough with the colour at the moment, but the, you guys, you know me, it's, it's not going to stay this way for very long. So I suppose this is the commencement of trying to find the perfect shade of red to suit me. So you know what, um, prepare for lots more hair dyeing videos as I uh, try fire truck red and I try orange and I try auburn and I try 
strawberry blonde who knows the possibilities are endless so like I said if there's any uh, red hair dyes that you would like me to experiment with or perhaps if there's 40 red hair dyes that you would like me to mix together and dye my hair with please leave them in the comment section down below now that my hair is finally red again I will begin the hair repair journey so I'll be trying out the Joico four step hair repair system. Uh, I'll be trying out a whole bunch of other products too on my journey to getting my hair back to the state that it was in. You know what, probably when I was five years old because let's be honest, my hair's been damaged for the majority of my life. But aside from that, I'm very much looking forward to getting my hair feeling nice and soft and luxurious. And I'm also looking forward to finding the right shade of red that's pretty close to my natural color and most certainly not bleaching it again and going pink. I'm definitely enjoying the length of my hair. It's a lot of fun playing around with different hairstyles. I have had that many days where I have sleeked it all the way back and I've just had it looking really, really super short. I've had days where I've kind of like puffed it up on the top and I've left it quite short on the sides. I feel like there's a, a fine line between pleasure and Pauline Hanson when I've got hair like this. If you don't know who Pauline Hanson is and you didn't quite understand that joke earlier in the video, she's a politician in Australia that people aren't particularly fond of. I'll, I'll just say that much. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm loving having my hair at this length. But that being said, I do also have a lot of wig content coming your way, which I'm very, very, very excited about. <laughs> and that'll start rolling out soon so if you are interested in seeing that don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you know when I upload those videos if you have any hair styling tips for me um, now that I have this length hair I feel like there's a fair bit that I can probably play around with so if you think of any styling ideas please send me a photo on Instagram or on Twitter I I'm going to be in this little bit of an awkward stage for a while as I wait for my hair to grow longer, uh, I very much look forward to having a bob. I'm, that's, that's what I'm most excited for. I want a bob and a fringe. At the moment, my fringe is kind of, I mean, it, it, it is still there. Uh, do you remember I wanted, I wanted curtain bangs? Um, that didn't quite happen. <laughs> what, I, what I ended up with was a disaster, <laughs> but yeah, look, the, the fringe, the bangs, they're still, they're still kind of there, but these days, uh, instead of wearing it like that, I've, I've been kind of like, you know, pulling it up and back. I always like having a bit of volume to my hair, so uh, I'm gonna probably have to start experimenting with hairspray and volume, and I also wanted to give the curly girl method a try, so if there's any of these hair styling things that you wanna see me do, just let me know in the comments down below. I feel like the predicament that I am left with now is do I want my hair to throw more red tones or more orange tones? I'm not really sure because when I was younger I had that really really orangey kind of hair uh, and as I got older it sort of turned more red and then it turned kind of more brownish so I don't know which way that I want to lean and I feel like the only way that I'm going to be able to find out is through experimentation. So yeah, may or may not have slightly lied when I said, oh, this is the end of the hair dyeing adventures. As if Alex was going to dye her hair red once and then just be done with hair dyeing forever. <laughs> if you fell for that. <laughs> so yes, I, I, I want to see myself with a little bit more of an orangey kind of tone. And I also want to see myself with pink again. Nah. But with that, thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure. Let me know what you think about the color in the comment section down below. If you like this color on me, let me know. Um, I may or may not keep it for several more days <laughs> before I change it. <laughs> so with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah! How many hours did you sleep last night, my love? Three. And the night before? Two. <laughs> and then two and a half the night before. So what you're trying to say is you're really tired and you're delaying doing this outro because you're tired and you don't have the motivation but you really want to talk about the results but you're so tired that you also want to go to bed. Well it seems like the remedy is... Go to bed. <laughs>
good at that. You've done your makeup really pretty. Thank you. And done your eyes. My eyes are the makeup. Yeah, but so you put fake eyelashes. <laughs> you did your eye eyebrows too. But then you're going to go to bed and then you have to redo it again. Yeah. Which means you'll lose more time. Yeah. Or. Or. Hear me out. <clears throat> you do the outro. You tell people mistakes were made, but you're happy. And you would use their product again because it's not bad. It looks really cool. Then, then, the most important thing is that you can have some cuddles. That is the and tomorrow, if you're not filming anything because you're just moving stuff out of the garage, yeah. you don't need to waste the time doing eye makeup because that, there's no point. That's it. He knows. Wants cuddles. Yeah, wants, wants cuddles. <laughs> Hurry up and film so we can have cuddles. Happy for outro, but you know, cuddles.